What's up, guys? Paul Richards here with the Stream Geeks. We had an awesome live show yesterday all about how to host engaging virtual events, something that I have been doing quite a bit of. And I wanted to recap the presentation in a shorter video so that for those of you who might not want to watch the hour-long webinar that was super awesome, can check this one out instead. So first of all, presented by the Stream Geeks, we've hosted a lot of virtual events, and it's actually based on my book, The Virtual Ticket, which you can get for free. A lot of great resources in there, and I highly suggest reading that book and taking a look at it. So let's go through this presentation. Why are events so important? It's because they break through the clutter. And we all have kind of technology saturated lives and hosting a great event, a great virtual event, breaks through that cl clutter quite am amazingly, really. So what are the goals for virtual events? And I'm gonna go through this quickly because again, we did a whole webinar that was like an hour long with the Q&A and everything that you guys can check out and watch. But the goals for an amazing virtual event is to maximize exposure on social media. And this uh, strategy we're going to go over today maximizes exposure by design. So the design of your entire virtual event should always be built upon maximizing your exposure because it allow you to engage online audiences with experiences that they want. And then hopefully if you want to sell a virtual ticket, you'll have upgrade paths in your design that are natural and worth the money and the time value of your, your customers and your audience. So you're going to provide some type of value, whether that's entertainment or education. And ideally, this is something I see a lot of events lack, is extend the networking capabilities of your event. Next week, we're going to be talking about using Facebook groups for hosting virtual events. And the group itself becomes a networking vehicle for your virtual event. So we're going to look at this. Today, what we're looking at is a model that we're using for the present summit and the present summit's coming up July 15th. It uses live streaming. The, the whole summit is totally free where people can chat on the live stream, but they can upgrade their experience to a Zoom video conference meeting where we have our professional guests providing exercises and two-way interactive and engaging communication in that Zoom conference with designs to have breakout sessions and small group collaborations and interactivity. So the idea here is that we're leveraging the online audiences on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, and Twitter in order to gather those audiences and offer them a premium experience that happens on Zoom. Now, how do we do that? Well, obviously, we're using a lot of live streaming technology. If you watched our channel, you know that we combined Zoom video conferencing with our live streaming in some interesting ways. And we're providing interactivity and breakout sessions. And all of that is being built into the schedule, the ticketing, the website, and then the community building as well. So things to think about are interactive learning, and we go into this in more detail in our webinar, but we're using CrowdPur to host trivia, show polls, do a live leaderboard, collect additional leads throughout the presentation, and display real-time responses. Obviously, you need to have an engaging host. That will be me. I have a lot of experience live streaming, and I'll be presented in a professional studio here at our studio, which you guys may know about, connecting uh, with our audience on social media, engaging them, and preparing to introduce the guests and commentators, helping to upgrade our audience on social media to our professional development track, which you'll learn a little bit more about in a moment. I'm going to breeze through a lot of this, but people attend events to have unforgettable experiences. And you got to understand your audience. What excites them? What engages them? What are they willing to pay for to give away to get their precious time to spend at your event? There's lots of different types of events and virtual tickets in today's day and age have saved the day. And by the way, from a high level perspective, unlike services, which you might provide with your business, which are all about time well saved, saving your customer time, experiences are about time well spent. And, you know, the traditional way is to have uh, an event where you are at a brick and mortar location, and that is a great way to do it. 
There's a hybrid approach, which kind of combines live streaming and the in-person event. And that's really, I think, the best way. We don't have time to go into all of this, but I have some case studies that we go over in the virtual ticket. And also the Stream Geek Summit, which we hosted in New York City. I'm going to go really fast because you guys are getting a high-level breeze through. Then there is the all-virtual event. We do the Worship Summit every, every season. And this is an example where it's all virtual. Everyone is dispersed. We might have a small crowd here in our studio, but essentially we have live presentations and then we have a track for Zoom breakout sessions. And this was kind of the beginning of our process of understanding that dual track virtual event scenario where you've got that live stream and it's got a host and it's well curated, but you also have this whole opportunity to simultaneously have live breakout sessions using Zoom. The present summit is really going to be our premier event of the year where we're going to take all of these ideas. And I've met with Joseph Pine from the Experience Economy, Fatima Doman from the Authentic Resilience. Those are the authors of those books and helped craft an engaging what would have been in-person experience and turn it into virtual. So we've got two tracks, a live streaming track and a professional development track. The professional development track, each presenter, as they're done leaving the live stream track, they go into their exclusive Zoom session, which you do have to pay for a virtual ticket to attend that. And then they design experiences and exercises which could, do not have to, but will for some of the experiences lead to small group breakout collaboration sessions. So we've designed quite a few of these, and this is practically proprietary information because Joseph Pine, the Exper Experience Economy author, had sat down with me for hours to design this. We have an open space collaboration design where there's multiple Zoom rooms that people can be a social butterfly and peek into or be a busy bee and really dig into. And then there's, of course, the small group breakout sessions. The small group sessions, there's a host in each one, and they're kind of responsible for sharing the best thoughts with each people person in the session. I have some great ideas for break, uh, icebreakers and things like that we won't get into in this video. Uh, you may have seen in our live video, and I'll just show a peek of this. Let's see, where do I have it? Got it right here. And essentially, I'll just show a little bit of this show where you can see, let's see, where is it? Right here. We're combining a Zoom conference with a um, uh, our live stream and video production system. So that's something that you should keep in mind. That's something that you can do. You capture Zoom, BlueJeans, WebEx, whatever you're using into your video production software and create something like this. It's consistent with your branding. You've got your presentation. You might want to have a Zoom meeting password. You can have a co-host. You saw that we were using the Zoom speaker view there. And then you can put all of that into a full comprehensive live stream track that, again, gets people into those Zoom breakout sessions. Now, I don't have time in this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet to talk about designing your experience, but we do talk about it in the free webinar below. The value experience diagram of reaching that transformational experience, those where those Zoom breakout rooms come into play, how Zoom breakout rooms work. Again, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet for folks who just wanted to see if this is of interest. Again, all of these details are talked about in the webinar below. And there's a, so much great information I'm going through like crazy here because I do think that if this video goes over 10 minutes, uh, it'll be too long for a lot of folks. So we're going to leave it at that. I want to say that you can get my free book, The Virtual Ticket, at ptzoptics.com slash book. Check out the video below because I do think it was a great webinar. I think people really enjoyed that webinar. And uh, it'll give you all of the great details. Plus, it was an engaging Q&A. Next week, we'll be talking about how to use Facebook for hosting virtual events, which I do think is going to be highly engaging. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because you won't become a video production expert overnight. And this is the kind of stuff that we talk about day in and day out. I think you guys will enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Bye, guys.